Lesson 5, multi-digit quotients. And just like it says here, we'll be using a base 10 block demo for the standard algorithm. Let's start with the standard algorithm, and you'll need a magic card for this problem. Here we have the problem, 351 divided by 2. And this is the biggest dividend that we've worked with so far, so let's break it down this way. We'll divide the hundreds first, regroup if necessary, divide the tens, regroup if necessary, then divide the ones. And if there's a remainder, then we'll write it down. Let's go ahead and use our magic card. Cover up the entire dividend, including the place value names. And now slide the card over one column. And notice how simple this problem is now. We have three hundreds, and we're going to divide it by two. Can you do three divided by two evenly? No, so count backwards. 2 divided by 2. Yes, write it down. If 2 divided by 2 equals 1, then 1 times 2 equals 2. True, so subtract. 3 minus 2 equals 1. Slide the card over and bring down the 5. Now we have 15 tens to divide, but this is still a pretty simple problem. Can you do 15 divided by 2 evenly? No. Count backwards. 14 divided by 2. Yes. Write it down. If 14 divided by 2 equals 7, then 7 times 2 equals 14. True. Subtract. 15 minus 14 equals 1. Slide the card over one more time. And bring down the 1. Now we have 11 ones to divide, but it's still a pretty simple problem. Can you do 11 divided by 2 evenly? No, so count backwards. 10 divided by 2. Yes, write it down. If 10 divided by 2 equals 5, then 5 times 2 equals 10. True. Subtract. 11 minus 10 equals 1. Slide the card over. That's the end of the problem, and you see that the remainder is 1. So our quotient is 175, remainder 1. Let's see what that looks like with the base 10 block demo. Notice here that we have 351, and we're going to divide them by 2. So here is 351 divided by 2. We'll divide the hundreds first, regroup if necessary, then divide the tens, regroup if necessary, then divide the ones, and if there is a remainder, we'll write it down. Now let's use our magic card to cover up the dividend and the place value names. Slide over one column at a time, and notice how simple the problem is. We have three hundreds divided by 2. Here are the three hundreds, and we're going to divide them by two. So here's one hundred and two hundred. And we can't put this hundred into a group because that would make the groups unequal. So we'll leave it here for now. We use two of the hundreds, so write it down. If two divided by two equals one, then one times two equals two. True? Subtract. 3 minus 2 equals 1. So each group had 100, and there's 100 left over. Now let's regroup. Take a look at this 100 that we have left over, and we're going to break it up into tens just like this. So we're taking the 100, and we're breaking it up into tens. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 tens. So let's slide our magic card, bring down the 5, and this shows that we have 15 tens. So let's divide them by 2. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And we can't put this one into a group because it would make the groups uneven. So we used fourteen tens. Let's write it down. Here's 14, and 14 divided by 2 equals 7. I know that because 7 times 2 equals 14. So let's subtract. 15 minus 14 equals 1. So each group had 7 tens, which you can see here, and there's 1 10 left over, which is right here. Now let's regroup again. Take a look at this 10 that we have left over, and we're going to break it apart into ones just like this. And notice now that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 ones. So let's light our magic card, bring down the one, and this shows that we have 11 ones. So let's divide them by 2. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I can't put this one into a group because that would make the groups unequal. So I'll leave it here for now. We use 10 of the ones. So write down 10. If 10 divided by 2 equals 5, then 5 times 2 equals 10. Subtract. 11 minus 10 equals 1. Slide over. That's the end of the problem. So we write down remainder 1. So let's make sure we know what that means. So this means that each group has 175 and there's a remainder of 1. Here's one group with 175, another group with 175, and here's one left over. Also, notice this. Each group has 100, 7 tens, and 5 ones. Each group has 100, 7 tens, and 5 ones.